So what day is it, Licha? Uh, it's the uh, inauguration eve. It's uh, January the 19th, 2009. Yes. yes. And here we are in, in Snow Flurry, Washington, right? Uh, actually, we are in Maryland. We are Bethesda, in, uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah. That's Chevy, right. Chevy Chase, mm. to be more specific. Uh, okay, uh, Chevy Chase, and we're going to go into Washington. Yes. This is our video blog yes. of the inauguration. Turn it around so they can see you. They know what I look like. Nice hat. Uh, I look Please. like stupid. There, see, I told you. <laughs> the metro into downtown Washington. No crowds on a Monday morning. Hi, Licha. Well, at least on Monday, the day before, at 9.45, very few people on the metro. Only the prettiest ones are on the metro. The ones are already there. Oh, okay. Standing in line to see what I'm Through the Obama website, I was able to find a park near our hotel where Leecha and I could do some volunteer work by helping to clean up the park. Leecha did her part by raking, and I did my part by documenting other people doing the work. After the cleanup, we headed back into the city to become the tourist that we really were. Okay, here we are at the Museum of Crime and Punishment. And here's a cop shop. Uh-huh. J. Edgar Hoover. Not in a dress. Uh huh. That's cute. Unusual. There's Pennsylvania Avenue, and here's the first line of defense. This is the museum in Washington, so it's appropriate that it has front page newspapers from all over the country. And all talk about the inauguration. <laughs> Everywhere you turned, there was something Obama for sale. All right, here we are again, stimulating the local economy. <laughs> Go, Michelle. <laughs> Certainly ground zero for everything Obama for sale was this store near Pennsylvania Avenue that had hundreds of people buying every Obama thing you can imagine, from t-shirts to mouse pads to beach blankets to pins and coffee mugs. They even had Obama condoms for sale. 99% of everything people were buying was pro-Obama, but of course 1% of the stuff for sale was also anti-Bush. <laughs> and out on the street, everyone was trying to seize the moment to promote their point of view, including one famous American. Abe, did you vote this year? Yeah, we finally, uh, finally had someone uh, worth voting for. I haven't seen anybody this good in 140 years. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Abe, very good. Now take a look at these locks. That takes a while, takes a while to develop that. 14 years old, about to hit puberty, so... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Keep it up. Then we headed on over to the National Mall to see what was going on the night before the big inauguration. Well, the media has arrived. The circus is in town. The circus is in town big time. That evening, the night before the inauguration, there were probably about a quarter of a million people milling about the National Mall, most of them congregating near the media outlets in the hopes of being on TV. Everyone in the crowd seemed jubilant and hopeful about the future. 
But, of course, there were also a few people who still had grievances about the Bush policies of the past eight years. But the crowds we saw on Monday night were nothing compared to Tuesday morning. Here's the checkpoint at Indiana and 4th Street on the way to the National Mall. I have no idea how we're going to get through that to the Canadian Embassy, but we're going to try. I didn't want to admit it to Leecha at the time, but I was very worried that something would go wrong and the crowd of 300,000 people would panic near the security checkpoint and we'd get crushed. What do you think, Leecha? It's a <laughs> Surprisingly, everybody kept their cool and nobody got hurt, even though it took 90 minutes to get through the checkpoint. The temperature at the checkpoint was below freezing, so it took a few minutes to get through Leech's layer of clothes and find her suspicious pair of binoculars. But they still let her go through. Then we somehow made our way through the crowd to the Canadian Embassy on Pennsylvania Avenue, about half a mile from the Capitol building. At the embassy, we were able to get indoors when the winds got to be too strong and we were protected by the Canadian Mounties. But the best thing about being at the embassy was that we saw the Obama motorcade as he drove to the Capitol building. His car is the one following the white van holding the TV cameras. After Obama took the oath of office, Leecha and I braved the 11 degree temperatures and did what we do best. The inauguration was great and there was this fantastic positive feeling you got from the homeless in the street to the secret service guarding the president. But for me, the highlight of the day might have actually been getting the chance to see George Bush fly away from Washington. Obama will be making plenty of mistakes, but it's finally goodbye 43, hello 44.